Okay, hello everyone. My name is Master Starman. And I am Bro. And welcome to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Versus. This is actually our third game. Yeah. Wait, third or fourth? Third, right? Yeah, okay, for some reason I wanted to say fourth, but I guess I'm wrong. Anyways, <clears throat> the idea for this Let's Play was actually my idea. Uh, <clears throat> the idea for this Let's Play was my idea because at the time I didn't see any, I don't think there was hardly any Banjo-Kazooie versus LPs on YouTube or, <clears throat> actually really quickly, are you at the part where it's press A or press B? Okay, count down on this. Two, one, Shut. Okay, good. <laughs> the, it was an idea by myself, and when I finally got the idea to do the LP, <coughs> I PM'd uh, growth about it because we're <coughs> both pretty knowledgeable on the game, I'd say. He's probably a bit more knowledgeable on than me, and I'm probably going to be the one who loses this LP, but... <clears throat> who really knows, honestly? He could die a lot in the... He might die a lot in, like, the last few worlds, or something. Who knows, really? <clears throat> Plus... I probably won't. I'm, I'm not bad at the engine room, surprisingly. It's just one of those things that I could easily slip up and die on. But, uh... <clears throat> um... What was I gonna say again? Oh yeah, this is a good excuse, if anything, for me to kind of redo my old Let's Play of Banjo-Kazooie because of how the first few videos in that LP were had some pretty crappy quality, really bad commentary, and such, and if anything, this is my best way how I can redo that old project. <clears throat> how many honeycombs do you have? Five. Yeah, same. Okay. I'm going to the wooden area now. Yeah, same. Yeah, we've tried recording this three times. The first time we finished it and I real um we weren't actually recording our commentary. Well, wasn't recording any of our commentary at all. Second time was <clears throat> a Skype call was dropped five minutes into the video, and he restarted his or he like ended his capture. So we had to start over again after that. Oh no, I failed. Well, that's good. Get up! Get up! Get up! There we go. Good. Heading there. I'm almost there. Yeah, I'm at the part where it turns all. Yeah, I'm just at the part where Bottles talks to you about that. I remember when I was younger, I used to, I guess, always press A whenever he asked you if you wanted to do training. Instead of skipping it, I used to always do it, and then I was wondering, like, what, what I had to do in order to <clears throat> get the bridge to be fixed. I mean, I was young, and I did not read text for the life of me, even though I was playing with a bunch of other... I used to always play when... When I was at my babysitter, so I was at, always playing with, like, a bunch of people who were either a year older than me, two years younger than I was, four years younger than I was, or, like, three or four years older than I was. <clears throat> so, yeah, this was one of our favorite games to play. If we were playing multiplayer, we would always play either Mario Party or Smash Bros. And whoa, camera change. Smash Bros. The original? Yes. Yes, I just put it in. Yeah, same. Okay, then Mumbles Mountain. Uh, I was actually 
actually quite surprised that you took the exact same route as me when it came to the uh, honeycomb thing. I always take that route. Same. Okay, don't forget the mumbo token that's right here. I was thinking for a second there about that one last time? what? You forgot that one first time? No, I I knew it was there. I was just almost about to head somewhere else and almost missed it. So. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I remember last time you were saying something about uh you recently tried playing um an N64 Mario Party game. Do you remember which one? Like. What? You were saying something about an N64 Mario Party game, like. Yeah, I even prefer them myself because I've played a lot of them, a lot of the set two and three this past year because I had I bought two on the Wii Virtual Console and then like a couple months later, this was last year, I actually a video a local video store was going out and I actually bought their copy of uh, the second one as well. So I had Mario Party two for both the Wii Virtual Console and the actual system. And recently, I ordered the first one online and uh, bought it. Like, well, and been playing it. Because <clears throat> Mario Party 1 was always one of my favorite video games as a kid, but <clears throat> I never actually had a copy of the game. I used to just play to my babysitter's a lot. Um, at Mumbo's about to get the jiggy in his eye. Okay. I'm at Conga. Alright, yeah, you always go to Conga, I know that. I'm heading towards where the town trot is, which that was the first jiggy I got last time, so... This time I'm not going to fall down. I'd like it if you did. That's good. Oh, it's Conga with the C. Okay. okay, Talent Shrock get best move in the game for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, that's the move you use all the time. I mean, is there ever a moment you really don't use it, except in the engine room? Even in the engine room, I still use this move quite a bit. I don't. I'm too scared. I, I prefer it in the engine room because it helps you get across those rotating things quite fast, because it lets you move faster. That, that, that's the thing with, um, no wait, uh, you mean the pipes now, right? Yeah, pipes. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, I'm always scared of these, uh, propeller things? I don't know where Oh yeah, propellers. Uh, they are really scared to me. Hmm. Because... I don't know, it just seems that I have so much trouble with that, it's, it's not even fun. Yeah. Because uh, my ability of timing stuff is awful. <laughs> I mean awful, because whenever I, you know, they slow down a bit and you have to jump, like, yeah. side. Yeah. Whenever I do that, I always die, no matter what I do. Hmm. Okay. I'm just at Conga right now, I think. I just got the first jiggy from him. Did you beat Conga? Uh, I didn't beat him, I just got the jiggy from the oranges and then I'm about to feed the monkey. Okay. I have the Talon Smash or Ground Pound as I always call it, whatever the move's called, so I can get the switch home here. Yeah, uh, that, that, that's the only bad thing about my route is that I have to go back there. Yeah, that's... Now I kind of explained that in the one of the previous attempts that how it's weird how you, no matter which way you go you either have to head one way then back the other way to get everything. Yeah. I'm not gonna bother explaining it because it's kind of confusing and I'll probably just confuse other people. Why? Why? 
Why are we destroying these people's houses anyway? Just to take their loot. I didn't even know if anyone lived there. <laughs> Mm, true. <laughs> Alright. I'm just about to take out Conga. Have you done this with a pillar? No. I've done everything else up there though. That was like the first thing I did in the level. Oh yeah, you started. Right? Yeah. Oh wow, I didn't actually get the jiggy or any of the oaks on the hill over there. Oh yeah, the hill. I forgot about that part. Yeah, I, I just looked over there. I saw no jiggies gone there or anything. I'm surprised about that. Whoa! Did I do that? I usually do that early on in the level. I'm actually kind of surprised about myself. Okay, I just got the last Jinjo. Yeah, I, I saved the hill with the yellow Jinjo and all the notes, just because I'm going there anyway. I just... <clears throat> the last Jinjo I usually get is the blue one, for some reason, even though it's probably the second closest to the beginning of the level. Blue one? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I know. No, uh, I take the pink one first. Yeah, so do I. The pink Jinjo and then the Mumbo token there are always the first two things I get in the level. Okay, I have eight Jiggies. Uh, I have the one from the Totem Pole and the one from the Termite Hive. Okay. What's your timer at, anyway? Uh, my timer is at 12 minutes and 20 seconds. Okay. I can't- I'm, I don't exactly have my- any sort of a timer available because I didn't actually stop recording anything since the- <clears throat> last attempt, so... Oh dear, your, your poor hard drive. I don't really care about my hard drive space. I have like almost 12 videos of Skyrim already recorded onto the thing. Yeah, that's true. And we're probably gonna be recording more and- um, Okay, this isn't helping camera. The camera's like rotating as Juju's rotating. Jesus Christ, where have I forgot? Where? Oh, yeah. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I know. Okay, good. I thought you, I thought you were, like, missing something there. No, I, I, I have 90 notes, and I was like, wait, where do I get the last 10? And I'm uh, realizing there are four inside Mumbo's skull, so... Oh, yeah, and then six inside the, uh, the other area. I don't know why, but Mumbo looks, like, so much different in Banjo-Tooie than he does in this game. What did you say? Mumbo looks, like, so much different in Banjo-Tooie than he does in this game. Uh, in Banjo-Kazooie? Yeah, like, in the second game, like, his head's, like, it's, like, a lot more round, and his skin's, like, not a really weird color with a weird texture all over it, like... Are you comparing with Banjo Tooie now? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I personally prefer the look of him in this game. Eh, yeah. Well, you get to play as him in the second game, which I like a lot. You know, I, I like playing as him, but I, I didn't like playing him in one area. I guess you can. What part was it at? The. You have to use him. You have to travel like around the floors in the. Uh, no, oh, I just fell down. Um, in the, the uh, factory. Industries. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that part is kind of the only part where Momo kind of sucks because his ability is an EMP. An EMP sounds like it would be a good ability, but he all you really use him is to deactivate a crushing machine and deactivate like. Use him to deactivate a crushing machine, and then you use him to... <coughs> uh, 
uh, open up the area to where the boss is. What is his name? Weldar. Like Weldar. He's cool. Yeah. I like him. Yeah, and his music's awesome too. All right, I'm done with this world. So am I. <laughs> Okay, good. We're both pretty much at the same spot. You know, I actually fell down like three times in that termite thing, and I managed somehow to steer myself through the hole, so I just keep going down, down, and down. Uh, I, I've already lost a bit of time, so... Yeah. I just turned back into Banjo. Oh, you're already there. Yeah. Oh my god, the ant's talking. Mumbo must talk. Oh, come on, bottles. Shut up. I know all about no dwarfs. Are you getting the cauldron skull and the other thing? Probably not. Maybe not now, anyway. Isn't it counted for 100% to activate all the cauldrons? I don't know. I'll probably activate them later on because they're pretty convenient shortcuts, but... I don't know. I don't think so. I thought I thought a hundred percent really meant only getting like all the uh, the notes, empty honeycomb pieces, and jiggies. I could be wrong about that, but that's kind of what I always thought it was. And wait, wait, wait. There's the puzzle here. I f don't want to forget this. Come on! Why does it take so long to tell me about note doors? I can get it. No idea. Oh yeah. Um, I'm also. I think I'm going to fail at the, uh, the Gruntus Furnace of Fun or whatever it is. All that! Yeah, that's a really hard part of the game. Uh, you know, if either of us fails on one of the insta kill um, pads, I, I bet that one's going to lose. Yeah, well, the thing I've been wondering about this versus, and what is with the camera? You know how whenever you enter Treasure Trove Cove, you're like facing the Cove area, right? I entered the level and I was facing the sea. That's where the camera was. Be here. God. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I'm a bit ahead. I'm in, I'm in Treasure Trove Cove and I have the first ginger wall already. Yeah, me too. Okay. Oh, you're oh yeah, you're heading there. I don't know why I didn't head there. I'm heading to the shock pad. And why am I thinking that I'm playing Banjo Kazooie when I have the ledge grab? Yeah, it's a good move though. Yeah. My favorite land actually, or well, world in Banjo Kazooie was actually the. Uh, Dinosaur land, what's it called? Pterodactyl land? Yeah. I, I love that land. I'm not sure what I... Um, my favorite world in that game would be probably... I'm not, I'm not actually sure. I like a... I have a favorite world in this game, but I don't really have a favorite world in that game, surprisingly. Yeah, my favorite world's probably the Freezy Peak, which I know you don't like all that much, but... Ah, uh, no. Jesus. Yeah. Then again, I also kind of like Public Loop Swamp, too. Yeah, that, that, the music there is awesome. Yeah, I definitely agree. Well, this entire game soundtrack is awesome. Even, even Freezy Peaks. Yeah. Discs? Uh, the charge green thing. Oh! Shock pad. Jeez, I, I, I can't skip this. I don't know. No, I guess you can't. I, I was thinking that uh, you must have been able to talk over it or something. Or it must have been just been entirely talking over the whole conversation, like, at that point. Okay, I'm opening the sand castle. Yeah, I'm just about to do that too. How many notes do you have in this world? Only like 20-something or 30-something. I was about to head up to where 
that kind of spiral area where the X's are, but I then just remembered about the sand castle. I usually do this area early on, too. Okay, I only have 27. You know what? A fun fact, we're actually faster than we were last time, or the first time. Yeah, we are. Crap. And now I at least know where the goddamn letters are, because I forgot. I don't. Hardly. I mean, I do this part so much, and yet I can never remember where, like, half of anything is. And then there's the one jerk question where, in the quiz, where it's like, what letters aren't in this thing? There's a question like that? Yeah, there's a question asking, like, what letters are not in this whole, uh, thing. Wow, I just did a backflip, grabbed the jiggy, and got hit by the enemy in the while holding the jiggy. Oh, you mean in the uh, sandcastle? Sandcastle? Yeah. yeah. I did the exact same thing in the shell. An enemy jumped on me and hit me when I grabbed the jiggy. Wow. Okay, well, thankfully the crabs in this world give off two honeycombs because I was only like halfway through. I might as well fight the. Big one here. No reason not to. Okay, you can't. I know you can. Oh yeah, you've done. Well, no, I, don't, I wasn't saying anything. If the camera could stop sucking like ass right now. <laughs> I don't have any problems at all with it. I don't see what's going on with this. It, it, it oh like, jeez. Um... It's just rotating on its own a lot. No, I, I like Mario Sunshine a lot. That's one game I want to see either remade on the Wii or Wii U, or <clears throat> either um, an entire new sequel to it. I don't know, I, I think it's fine as it is. I mean, it, it's really beautiful. Yeah, so. the thing I like about it is just the fact how it's, the worlds are, even though there's only four worlds, they're all open-ended. I honestly want to know how I said 4, because last time I played Mario Sunshine, I'm pretty damn sure there were 7. Because that's my biggest problem with Mario 3D Land and Mario Galaxy, is the worlds are just too small in them. Basically anything, all the things I should say I do nowadays when playing that game is like, glitching myself, uh, myself up everywhere. Mm. Like, um... I usually go out to the Pianta village, like when I have just gotten to the island, that's fun. Yeah. I don't know, I... I oh, yeah, on the... Uh, while talking about uh, GameCube games, I actually picked up Metroid Prime again and trying to finish it. Oh, nice. But I forgot where basically 90% of the game is. And where to go and such. Um, I gotta go back and finish playing Metroid Prime 2 again, because that's my next Let's Play, and I haven't played that game in a couple months. Echoes, right? Yes. I, I haven't played Echoes at all. Echoes, it's a lot harder of a game, and it's a lot darker. Is it darker than Corruption? Um, yes. There's an entire world called the Dark World. Oh. Is it any grimdark, if I should say, like... Yes. I know that it's based on a light world and a dark world and some kind of emperor. Ah, uh, yes. The Emperor Ring. And it's, it's a bit... There, the story's interesting. There's a war between the Luminoth and the Ing. Ing are like these... It's, they're kind of weird. Yeah, they're like these dark species in the Luminoth. Like, they, ha they had a war and... <clears throat> Phazon, I guess, kind of came into contact with the with the Aang, and it caused the emperor made the emperoring, which <clears throat> around that time, I think I I can't remember the exact story behind that, but all I remember is that uh the Metroid Prime from the first game, the final boss, after uh you know how when you get a hundred percent and it shows the epilogue in that where. Oh, uh, you see the hand of Dark Samus emerge from the body of Metroid Prime? Yeah, that's because he 
took the DNA, right? Yes, that's when Dark Samus is introduced in the second game. When you first see her, and she turns out to be, like, the true villain of the series, pretty much. Yeah, she's the final boss of Metroid Prime 3, isn't she? And, actually, not truly. You fight her, and then she corrupts the... The final boss of the third game is the Aurora unit. Yeah. Uh, I, I haven't finished Metroid Prime 3 yet. I finished all of them, but the first one was the only one that I actually finished 100%. Although I played the hell out of the first game, I beat it like a lots of times, all mostly all 100 percent too. You you got all the logbook entries? Um, I'm kind of close. I'm like 90, anywhere between 95 to 98 percent, I think. Jesus Christ! I'm like 92 percent in echoes, which I'm kind of surprised at. What's your timer say? Cause I have a feeling we're almost up. Uh, 20. 26 minutes. Oh, wow. Seriously? You have a lot of time yeah. left. I was only at like 29 minutes at this point last time. I'm just about to head possibly get the flight pad, then like, I guess I'll head up to the lighthouse area, because that's... I could possibly finish the rest of this world up. I think I could anyway. How many notes do you have? Or wait, maybe not. I don't... I don't know. Only... Not that many, though, from what I remember. Only 53, 54. The thing that takes time on this level is the, uh, the treasure hunt thing. I don't find that takes yeah. too long, but yeah, I know where most of the notes I missed were now that I think about it. I'm heading, I'm about to, I think I'm about to do, um, get the notes on the ship, get the flight ability, and then fly up to the lighthouse. Jesus Christ, I keep failing on this thing. What part are you at? Jumping on the pillars to get into the little Oh. Cave. Yeah, did I get that or I, I, I keep uh, Yeah, I, I got that early on I think. I keep releasing the buttons so it just doesn't jump as high. Mm. But just screw it and I took the flight pad instead. Yeah. And I gotta remember I honestly forgot about the jiggy and the treasure chests with the near the flight pad until right now, actually. You forgot about that one? Almost. I just remembered it whenever I saw it. I can possibly get two more jiggies. I could possibly get probably three, three jiggies and the... Or no, two jiggies and the... Uh, switch. Come on. Give me the jiggy already. What part am I at? Uh, okay, just got the green Jinjo, I only need the yellow one, and I, that's up where I'm heading anyway. Have you gotten the Jiggy, um, that you need to, <clears throat> to call, um, Jesus, uh, you have to go underwater at the dude with the bomb dude. Yes, I got that. Okay, I just got all the Jinjos. I'm up I'm, I'm up on the top area. So am I. Usually whenever I hear wind and seagulls, I usually always think of this area here. I think of Wind Waker, to be honest. Well, yeah. Okay, come on. Cam the camera is shifting everywhere. It's like rotating on me automatically somehow, and whenever I'm going around these corners, it's like entirely flipping out. You'll have to see this once it goes live, because it's hard to describe it. Uh, I understand. Yeah. On. One minute remaining. Okay, I just hit the switch, I'm at the lighthouse, and I'm about to head in here. Got the mumbo token that's at the door. Oh dear, I forgot about the mumbo token with the first green. Okay, just got the jiggy on top of the lighthouse. How many should I have? Okay. Seven. I still need the one from... Ca four? Uh, I have... What do I have? Jesus, I can't check. <laughs> There's not many seconds left, by the way. I know. I'm just sort of messing around here, almost dead. 
How much seconds do we have left? I might... Okay. Are we done? Five seconds left. Five se oh, okay, never mind. We're done? Okay, well this is being the first episode of Banjo Kazooie vs. And I actually did better than uh, I did last time. I got one more jiggy than I did. Same here. <coughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Next time on Banjo Kazooie vs. We will be doing more stuff.